You don't even remember the bar you had with your friends? No, I, I, I drank too much afterwards. I don't even remember our little encounter and... Wait, do you even remember my- No, no, don't! N let's not- No, let's not do this right now. What is going on? Everybody, welcome to One Night Stand. I'm your One Night Stand for the evening. The Birdman, known as Falcon. It's, I'm not really your One Night Stand. It would be kind of weird if I was your One Night Stand, because I don't think then we could really have this kind of relationship where you listen to me talk non-stop while you watch the video, criticize it, laugh at it, etc, etc. But, this is a game all about the morning after a one-night stand. And I think some of us have been there, some of us have not. But if you've been there, you probably have had that weird, awkward morning where you kind of wake up, you look next to you, you're thinking, Jesus Christ, who and sometimes what is this next to me? And sometimes you look around and you're thinking, hey, not bad, not bad, Drunk Falcon. But um, this game is all about simulating that aspect itself, and uh, I haven't played this beforehand, I'm kind of coming in here blind, so I'm not sure what to expect, but I figured it'd be something kind of interesting for us to check out. This is available on Itch and on Steam now as well, if I'm right. So, without further ado, let's get into Start Game. Ugh, <laughs> yeah, that already sounds very familiar. My head, yep, very familiar. My stomach. I... I feel like... crap. Last night... what happened? Drink. Lots of drink happened. Ugh, what's that noise? That's the entire world telling you you were up to no good last night, man. My phone. Where is my phone? Oh, cool, you can interact. All right, oh, hey, there's stuff around here. I think this is my phone, though, right? Got it. Shh, shut up, phone! Mate, what the hell happened to you last night? You tell me, man. <laughs> How'd you let me get here? Oh, look at that, my phone is even, a, it's about to die out as well. That That always happens, your phone is always dying the next day after a night you don't remember. It always happens! Gary? What does he want? Oh yeah, that's right, I was out with Gary last night. There you go, it's coming back to us a little bit here. He doesn't sound too happy with me, though. Should I respond? Yeah. I have no idea, but I've woken up with a banging hangover. You? Now mind you, this game is has a lot of multiple endings of what I read, so everything that you do or choose affects the outcome of the game itself. Low battery, 5% of battery remaining. Crap, my phone is about to die. I better plug it in before the battery runs out. Well, how are we gonna manage that? Where's my phone charger? That's not it. That's not it either. My phone charger has to be around here somewhere. Wait. Are you even at your house? Like, that's my question right now, like... If you're at home, okay, I think you can find it, but do people go out with their phone charger? I guess people do, I don't do that. I should. That's the reason why I run into the issues where my phone dies out all the time. I see a condom wrapper back there, too. <laughs> this is even my bedside table. Exactly! We're at the other person's place. There you go. This is even my room. Where am I? Yeah. That sounds very familiar. My clothes, they're all over the floor. Am I... I'm completely naked! Well, normally, sexual intercourse does involve nudity, so that's a very wise, astute observation. Erm. And normally, the other person might be naked as well, normally. Yeah. Whoa! Who is she? Why, why am I in bed? Why am I in her bed? Well, come, come on, dude, really? Did, did we hook up? Yeah, that rapper there probably tells me we did. This must be her room. I hope this is her room. But... Who is she? Dude, you bailed on me. I gave up a date to go drinking with you and you wander off after one round? What the hell? Gary ditched his date and I ditched him? Shit. Did I really leave after one round of drinks? I can't remember. Hmm. If Gary knew about the situation I was in, he might be able to laugh it off or give me some information at least. Should I tell Gary about this girl? I might as well tell him the truth, man. 
Mate, I'm really sorry about last night, but I've just woken up in some girl's bed. He either congratulate me or he'll probably think I'm bragging or something. But I'm, not, I'm really not bragging. You know what? What I sense is nothing to brag about. I feel people do it like it's kind of like, yeah, dude, I got lucky last night. It's kind of like, really? I mean, doesn't that wear off after a while that, oh, hey, guys, I had sex. It's like you've had sex plenty of times now. That's just me, though, anyway. Eh. Hopefully Gary can shed some light on the situation. Mm -hmm. Ha! Bullshit. You're crap at pulling, mate. You're gonna need to do better. You need a better excuse than that. Gee, thanks for the vote of confidence, Gary. I guess my dude isn't really the most outgoing guy, maybe. But, this naked girl next to me says otherwise. Shit. I can't remember anything that happened last night. It's such a blur. Leaving Gary seems to ring a bell, but... I don't even know who this girl lying next to me is, and where the heck I am. This is gonna be so awkward when she wakes up. Yeah, it normally is. Especially when you don't even remember your names. Each other's names. <laughs> Makes it even weirder. Uh, this hangover is not helping. Well, if Gary's not gonna take my word for it, I could take a sneaky picture. It would definitely shut him up. What should I do? Oh, man, I don't think you want to go that far. If he doesn't want to believe you, he doesn't want to believe you, I guess, but... Let's not be a creeper while we're at it as well, huh? Don't take the photo. I'm not gonna stoop to that. Gary can think whatever the hell he wants. Exactly. If my bro wants to believe me, cool. If he doesn't, then hey, whatever, man. I'm not going to be sending naked pictures of a girl next to me. Aw, oh, shit. My phone died anyway. That's good. Maybe maybe she would have woken up and, like, I don't know, killed me. Kicked me out of the house naked. And I'm still no closer to finding out what happened last night. What should I do now? Wake her up? Go back to sleep? Get out of here? Yeah, you know. Just go back to sleep. Well, naked girl next to me. I have no idea where I'm at. I'm hungover. I'm naked. I guess we just go back to sleep, yeah. No, that's not normally what you do. Um, I won't lie to you. This here is a not a bad option. Not not a bad option. That decision, that type of scenario. I mean, if she lives with other people, though, it could be kind of weird when you sneak out of the room and suddenly there's another person living there, like a roommate. It's kind of like hi, and you're like, oh hey, um, I'm gonna go now. Really awkward. Anyway, um, hey, let's fucking find out what happened. I need answers and I need them now. Ugh, what the? Did she just throw the covers over me? I guess she was awake, too. Probably ran out to get dressed. She's gone? Maybe she's a little freaked out about all this. I know I am, yeah, no kidding. I wonder if she wants me to leave. Uh, I could go home here, I could check this out. Is that my shirt up there? Eyes of Embrace. We got socks, we got some booze, we got some panties, okay. I'm not gonna start rummaging through her fucking wallet, man. Are those bird control pills? I hope they are. Not sure what that is, okay. I'm trying to, like, play this as realistically as possible. I'm not gonna start rummaging through people's stuff. I mean, maybe if I do another playthrough, I'll try to do something different. Or another video at that. I don't know, if you guys want to see more of this, do let me know and I'll continue it, but... Um, this is a, a one-shot for now, anyway. I just wanted to show this off. So, my phone is dead. That much we've established. Let's make sure that at least we used protection, because that's always very, very useful, man. Not only for pregnancies, but also to make sure, you know, your penis doesn't fall off a month later. It's a condom. Well, the wrapper, at least. It seems we had some sense last night. At least that's one mystery wrapped up. Ugh, terrible pun. Yeah, I was about to say. Okay, let's, um... What the hell is that over here? This flyer looks like it's seen better days. The Paradox, Monday Madness, free entry. Huh, Paradox, Monday Madness. Is this the bar that we went to last night? I vaguely remember being in a nightclub last night. It must have been here. But I wonder what happened to Gary. Is this my clothing over here? Can I put my clothes on? I found my jeans, that's a good start. They look a bit dirty though. Where's that stain come from? Mm. Well, you know, maybe you got a little bit too excited beforehand, if you know what I'm saying. Eh, they're probably still good for another day or two. My kind of guy. I really need to put in my boxers before I put them on, though. Alrighty, so... Hang on, there's something in the pocket. Sandbar. Buy five cocktails and get your six for free. Well, we found out what happened! 
I apparently was aiming for that free cocktail I really needed, so um, I drank five in order to get the six one. That sounds like something I would do. You know what? That sounds very much my, my alley. It's a challenge, really. They gave me that's kind of like, oh, really? You want to challenge me to six free one? Okay. Let's go for it. Sandbar, huh? I know this place. They do good cocktails. Yeah, no kidding. Maybe that's where we met? But what about Paradox? Hmm. Judging from this, I ordered my fair share of cocktails. The card is fully snapped. Wow. I drank five cocktails? No wonder I didn't end up cashing it in. <laughs> nope, there she goes. Oh. Hey. Well, at least we did pretty good, I'm gonna say, right? I think we did pretty good. Ugh, what should I say? <laughs> uh, just simple, hey, it's a really good start. I normally like to break the ice with a little bit of, um, the old Falcon comedy and wit, you know? That's just me. You gotta do the icebreaker first before you start talking about it, like, Hey! So, can you tell me the details of what happened last night? Because I don't remember a damn thing. Nor do I remember your name. Don't say that out loud, though, because they'll do Normally, they'll take offense to that. Not just they, not just females. If you're a female looking at a male perspective, I'm pretty sure the male would probably take offense to it, too, so, you know. Or if you're a male and a male, female, female. It doesn't matter, man. Whatever gender it is, don't say what your name is. Try to figure it out somehow, some other way. Um, sorry for dashing out, like, the room like I did. I hope I didn't freak you out or anything. No, I imagine you only see me... You didn't want me to see you naked, even though we just had sexual intercourse last night, but okay. It's okay. I was just a little shocked when I was suddenly smothered by the bed covers. Sorry, I woke up feeling pretty dodgy and had to dash the bathroom. Nah. Puking. I see. Uh, is everything okay? Um, I don't want to go into it. Oh, right. Uh, I see you have your jeans there. Yeah, I'm trying to very much dress up, much like you have. Oh yeah, I thought I'd pick them up. I see. Have you been awake long? Not really, I was just woken up by my phone buzzing. Ah, I wonder what that was, it woke me up too. S sorry about that. Uh, don't worry about it. This is awkward. Yeah, <laughs> this is a very awkward conversation thus far. I should ask her something. Ask about the time it is, hang over, her, nothing. That might be asking, like, what her name is, which is what I'm telling you not to do. So, maybe let's find out what time it is, huh? What time is it? Um, it's just coming up on 10 a.m. You, you don't look so good. Are you feeling okay? No, not really. <laughs> not really. I feel terrible. It's just a hangover. I'm all right. It's just a hangover. Don't worry about it. Well, I'm not surprised. You'd already had quite a few drinks before I met you last night. Quite a few drinks? Didn't Gary say I only had one round of drinks with him last night? I'm going to get myself a coffee. Do you want anything? Um, <laughs> painkillers, huh? Yeah, coffee sounds good. Sure. Yeah, coffee will help me shake off this hangover. Is that okay? Sure, I'll go put the kettle on. I hope you don't mind. Instant. How do you take it? It's black, baby. Oh, just black, please. <laughs> don't call her baby right now. Okay, sure thing. One minute. Oh, hey. I think we did really damn good, actually. <laughs> okay, she's gone. I've got to try to keep it cool. I don't want her to find out that I can't remember her. But I hope I haven't weirded her out already. No, I think we're doing okay so far. It's, everything's okay. It's an awkward conversation, but I don't think we've chosen anything that's going to be like, Hey, I'm a fucking weirdo. She seems cool, nice, weird. Well, I mean, let's be honest. We're both weird. We're now both sober, trying to figure out, Hey, we just had sexual intercourse last night after a lot of drinking, so it's going to be a weird situation regardless of which. Um, She seems nice. nice. She seems nice so far. She seems nice. Still, I don't know much about what happened last night. That's true, and for all we know, she's a serial killer. <laughs> Let's try to find our boxers, maybe, I guess? Can we find them back here? Hmm. These are all her clothes. Even if I wanted to wear them, I doubt they'd fit. Let's not go ahead and start putting on her clothes, dude, okay? Now that would be weird. Now that's a way to instantly make the situation really weird. Don't do that. Are these my boxers? How did my shirt end up all the way up here? Well, that's a good start. 
It stinks of sweat, smoke, and you know what? I'd rather not find out. Anyway, it's all I've got, so I have no choice. I'll put it on. Oh, she's back already? Here. Thanks, it smells good. <laughs> hope you like it strong. It's great, thanks. I, I hope you didn't spike it with some sort of narcotic to kill me, lady. Are you holding up okay? Holding up? I have no idea. Er, yeah. Okay, thanks. Good. It feels a bit awkward again. It's because we're not talking, man. It gets awkward when you're not talking. I should really cut to the chase and ask her about last night. She must know something. So, that was quite a night, huh? Yeah, it was alright. You know, I think I owe you my thanks. Thanks? I was feeling pretty down last night. I'd always brushed off the idea of meeting up with a stranger through a dating app. A dating app? Is that how we met? But a friend of mine met his girlfriend on there, so I thought I'd give it a try. Though it took me a while to work the courage up to go through with it. Finding the right guy, getting to know him, eventually agreeing to meet. And then he doesn't even show up. Oh, okay. So, we were kind of like the, the rebound. I see. What an asshole. Okay, I think I can assume that the asshole she's talking about isn't me. Yeah, come on, dude. Keep up, man. Then again, my guy is hungover, so I should cut him some slack. I was there for over an hour on my own. After that, I was ready to jump into the taxi, go home, and shut myself in for days. But then you showed up. I'm glad you did. You saw I was down, bought me a drink, and cheered me up. I did? <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah, sure I did, yeah. Yeah, you got it. Yeah, I remember you sympathizing with me a lot. You listen to me go on and on about that dating app. Douchebag. <laughs> so, thanks to you, the night wasn't ruined. Hmm, so she got stood up last night? And yeah, we must have met after that. Maybe it was just a shoulder for her to cry on. Although I did end up here. Whatever the case, it explains why I ended up abandoning Gary last night. A little. Even if I can't remember anything we talked about. Uh, don't worry about it. I'm glad you had a good night in the end. Although I think my mate's a bit pissed with me for ditching him. Oh, I'm sorry. It's fine, we were just in the middle of the bar crawl. I'm sure we'll get over it. I didn't realize you were out with anyone else. Yeah, I was out with Gary. We started at this bar. His bro recommended... I think. Huh? Um, it's nothing. Hold on. Which bar? Oh, she's on to me. I can't remember anything. I have no idea which bar. Sure, I found that flyer and sandbar card, but they could have been anything. Which bar did you go to with your friends? Uh, okay. Which one do you guys think it is? Um, Paradox, the, the, the... The flyer we found seemed kind of beat up, we mentioned, right? And he says he kind of remembers being at a club last night. Now, the sandbar had five cocktails marked. But Gary said we only had one round before we booked. All right, lady, I'll be honest with you. I have no idea. <laughs> I'm not lying to you. I just, I fucking drank too much. I don't remember. I'm not lying. I'm not being a scumbag, a liar. I have no idea. Whoa, what? You don't even remember the bar you had with your friends? No, I, I I drank too much afterwards. I don't even remember our little encounter, and... I didn't have enough time to look for information before you showed up with the coffee. I'll be honest with you. Ha. Huh. That's the first place you went. You mustn't remember anything, then? Uh-oh. Uh, no, no. Wait, do you even remember my... No, no, don't! N let's not... No, let's not do this right now. Oh, Jesus Christ, we talked about this so many times. This is not where we need to be right now. Oh my God, this is humiliating. So you don't remember anything? I should have lied about the bar. How would she know where the fuck I was at? I should have mentioned, like, I was at Mickey D's, behind the back of Mickey D's, having a Fort Loco or something. <laughs> Been there, done that. Anyway, uh, so you don't remember anything. Um, no. Maybe I can fill you in what I know. Yeah, pl please do. I, I just hope you're not mad about the name thing still. 
Please do, it would help. Well, I was waiting at the bar in the Paradox nightclub around 10 p.m. I'd been waiting there a while, so... We weren't at Paradox with Gary, that's where we met her. So Sandbar, it should have been Sandbar, right? Maybe I got so fucked up at the Sandbar I went over to the Paradox afterwards, I don't know. I was pretty tipsy and vaguely remember you approaching me. You didn't seem too drunk. That couldn't have been... Alright, so Sandbar was afterwards, if I couldn't have been too drunk, because after six cocktails, I should have been fucked. Like, just... I don't even know who I am, I'm not even sure if I'm human anymore. We had a round together and then we got chatting. We found a secluded spot to go to... To know each other, although Paradox got louder as the night went on. Then you suggested we go elsewhere. Sandbox, or Sandbar, whatever. Sandbar? Uh-huh. So you remember a little. Yeah, see, I remember. It's all good. We don't have to be mad about the name thing anymore. We're good. But things soon begin to get pretty fuzzy. I don't remember much. I think... I don't think either of us were in a good state to make decisions. Yeah, you, no kidding. Somehow we grabbed a taxi and... I guess we ended up here. Hmm. <laughs> and then? Oh, I think you know what happened then, dude. Don't act dumb. Okay. That's all I recall, anyway. As for you and your friends, I have no idea what happened. No worries, thanks for helping fill in some blanks. It's helped a little, but, uh, embarrassing. Oh, someone's at the front door. One minute. I'll be honest with you, I, I don't ever mind watching her walk away. I'm just, just saying, just throwing it out there. Hmm. There's still so many things I don't remember about last night. Maybe I can find some more clues around here. Alrighty, guys, we're gonna wrap it up here. We are out of time. This is One Night Stand. I actually really like this. This is actually kind of really fun. <laughs> Just I, I feel like it's fun because it's something I can relate to. You know, a little bit. I, 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 it's more stuff I used to do when I was younger. Not that I'm a fucking old man these days, and it can still happen any moment, but... <clears throat> <clears throat> Yeah. Alrighty, guys, and I do believe we're out of time. This is actually really, really fun. I wasn't, I wasn't really expecting to have this much fun with this, but I guess this is kind of fun because it's something I could easily relate to. So when you're doing something that's relatable to you, you kind of see it from the outside looking in, and you're kind of thinking like, oh, don't do that. Don't say that. So it's actually kind of really fun. Um, One Night Stand, all the information for the game will be down below. You can get this on Itch and Steam. Hey, if you want me to do the rest of this, let me know in the comments, and I will, you know, continue it. We'll see how this plays out. So, I hope you guys enjoyed it. I will catch you next time.